Today I'm going to show you how to play PS2 games in your computer. So first, open your browser and search PCSX2 and press enter. You'll find the first website, so click on that. Now you'll see latest nightly button. Again, click on that and you'll see download for Windows. So click on it and download the file where you want. We have downloaded the file successfully, so now we need to extract it so that we can use. So right click on it and click on 7-zip. As I'm using an extraction software, but you can use anything you want, but always remember to click on extract to because it'll create a folder in the name of the file where all the extracted files will save. Otherwise, all of your files in the extracted files will be together. Double click on the folder and click on the PSEX2 file. Now click on next. Here we have to select BIOS. So to download BIOS, go to browser and search PSEX2 BIOS download. You'll see the first website. Open it and click on the download button. If you didn't find the website, I'll provide it in the description. After downloading completed, extract the file. Now open PCSX2 and click on Browse and select the extracted BIOS folder. Now you can see it's showing BIOS image missing. You can see there's three BIOS images. Just click on any one of them and click Next. Here, add the folder where your games are and click Yes. Click Next and Finish. Now our setup is completed. It's time to apply some settings for smoother performance. Go to System Settings and enable Start Full Screen, but it's optional. Go to Emulation and click on E-Cycle Rate and select 50%, and in E-Cycle Skipping select Maximum Underclock. After that turn on Enable Cheats. Now in Graphics section, choose Vulkan in Renderer if you have External Graphics card, otherwise select Direct 3D11. If you choose Vulkan, then select your graphics card in adapter option. You can turn on VSync. If you see any lines or glitches in your games, go to rendering option and in internal resolution, you can change the quality of the games. If you select any other than default, then FPS will drop, leave texture replacement and fast processing to default. And in OSD, you can turn on show CPU and GPU usage. Finally, our FPS settings are completed but we need to map our keyboard keys or controller if you have. For that, open your PS2 game. Press Escape key on your keyboard and go to Settings. Here you can see Controller option. Scroll down until you see the PS2 buttons for mapping. You can map the desired key to the button you want. If you have joystick, then connect it with the computer and start mapping the buttons. All keys are mapped successfully. Now let's play a game for testing our settings and mappings. Athena, you will suffer for this! Don't let him open the door! I will make you suffer! 